is a presentation of Real Wise Productions and Comey Media Incorporated. Chris Rock, Will Smith, and Jada Pinkett Smith. What do all these three mean for men in particular? Next on Mentality. Welcome to another installment and edition of Mentality, the place where we create content for men, because it's by men, and we direct it toward men. I am one half of that duo, Cole Johnson, and it's joined always by my brother and the other co-host of Mentality, one Mr. Wise El Jefe. How you doing, man? I'm good, brother. I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm doing really good. I, I can't complain at all. And if I did, I'd be lying. <sighs> all right. So you normally would be seeing certain things. You know, normally right now you'd see the rundown and you might see celebrity style. But uh, we're going to do something just a wee bit different in this episode because the whole episode is dedicated to Chris Rock, Will Smith, and Jada Pickett Smith in a full show segment that we call the whole truth. Now, the biggest news pretty much in Hollywood and out of Hollywood, considering that we now have just gotten past one week ago, the Academy Awards, uh, the Netflix special that we'll talk about a little later that Chris Rock had called uh, Selective Outrage, talked about the big time incident that took place the previous Academy Awards. And we'll talk about that in that length later on in this episode as well. But I want to focus here on certain aspects of what he said in the show itself. I'm not going to go into the show yet, but I'm going to talk about certain aspects he said. He talked about how this slap heard around the world still hurts. And people could say, well, it might be physically he hurts. But I think when he said it still hurts, he was alluding to it more along the lines of maybe, maybe monetarily, at least for the past year emotionally for sure and psychologically for sure and that phrase stuck with me when i heard him say that in the special and it still is sticking with me today you know as a, as a fellow man you know don't you don't ever want to hear somebody being hurt and expressing himself thusly so i will open the floor up to you what are your thoughts about the slap heard around the world or of Will Smith stepping up on stage at the Academy Awards, I believe it was the 94th Academy Awards in 2022, and slapping Chris Rock out of his shoes. Oh, man, here we go. So I, I thought it was, a, a, it was a move, man. It's like... Can't disagree with that. It, it, okay. Because at the time when Chris Rock said the joke, mm -hmm. I don't know if he knew that Jada had alopecia or whatever. whatever. Mm -hmm. But he was laughing. Will was laughing. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> he looks over to Jada. Jada yeah. isn't laughing. Mm-hmm. So I guess she gave him the look. Mm-hmm. And my man knew that he was in trouble for laughing. So he had to go up there and slap Chris Rock, which was which was a bunch of bull. Because how many people were calling Will Smith out prior to the Oscars for his wife oh, gosh. bringing him to the red table and embarrassing <laughs> him and stripping him of his manhood oh, to tell him yeah. about the entanglement. I don't care oh. if he knew about the entanglement, but everybody else didn't know about the entanglement. <laughs> and so once she made that public, mm-hmm. It just it, come on, my man looked like he was ready to cry. He, he, I think he did cry during that episode. Like he was, th- he, he looked like he was ready to cry. Like he couldn't believe this b- that put all this. In, like I'm <laughs> listen. That's how. That's how. That's how. Go. That's how Go. Go. I would have been the same situation. It would have been the same thing. Like it, b- I, I know you're not telling anybody our business. Like don't nobody need to know that you you was f- this young kid. Our our son's friend, first of all, he's he's old enough to be your own child, mm-hmm. and you gave him the box, and then put it out there on the red table so everybody can know that I knew you smashing this young cat, and like what what kind of like oh man she was really testing his mentals boy oh man I knew this would be good. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, this will be good. You touched on all of the segments that we'll be talking about later on the show too. So uh, you get you'll get your chance to get all of that out. <laughs> but yes, I, I agree. I thought it was a punk move for for Will to get up on stage to slap a grown man for doing his job. And and yeah, did he know that Jada had alopecia? He probably didn't. But even even if he did. To me, I look at the joke and I thought, okay, well, it sort of was a nod. Bro, he's basically saying, bro. okay, you sort of look cool. How many, how many people? Ball. Wait, first of all, <laughs> how many people do you know has died from alopecia? Uh, the next one will be the first. So yeah. it's okay. It's it's a horrible thing that women lose their hair. Yes, it's, it is. Yes, it's it is. It is. But come on, to physically assault a man. Because he was joking on your wife. And it wasn't that he was just so- solely joking on her. And, and he wasn't he really was truly doing disrespectful. the whole room. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't like he was truly disrespectful. She looked like she was ready for Jane, G.I. Jane, too. And I understood the joke. Yeah, I did too. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's yeah. I, And I actually said this to my wife, and she agrees with me. I said, oh, that was a, uh, that was a compliment uh, framed in the joke. I'm like, okay, yeah. I, I can see that. And that's what Bobby said the same thing. He's like, yo, know, kind of, it's kind of a, a compliment talking about you mm-hmm. and being GI Jane too. Yeah, Come on. like it, it was. But I think it, it was just man. He was he was ready. Yeah, on the edge, yeah. but he, and he picked the person that he felt he could punk and and, and slap because. It was other <laughs> people have made certain comments, and mm-hmm. he ain't stepped to none of them. So, right, yeah, yeah. Like if uh, Samuel L. Jackson or Denzel Washington or someone more, m- more, more his height and his build would it, or would say something similar, I highly doubt he would step up on stage and slap them because he knew that either he would get handled or it wouldn't even come to a slap. Uh, he he decided to smack Pookie. That's all. Basically. Basically. He decided yeah. to smack Pookie from New Jack City. Yeah. All right. So do you believe that uh, Chris handled himself correctly following the slap? I mean, immediately after. Yes. He kept it professional. He kept the show moving. My man. He he, he came and he was like, oh, shit, Will Smith slapped the shit out of me. <laughs> and he kept the show going. Yes. And and I, and I just like what his face said. I, I commend him for that. He, he's a better man than me. Cause Will would have got some hands. And that's just, just me. <laughs> that's just me. But Will would have got these hands. But Chris Rock is not that kind of person. 
I get it. Yeah. He didn't, he, he could have he could have pressed charges. He could have went the the mm-hmm. route and pressed charges. But the comedian that he is, the comedian that he is, he's like, all right, I'm gonna let this go. But when my next stand up come, y'all gonna oh. feel my wrath. Which mm-hmm. I enjoyed the stand up. I thought it was funny personally. Oh, good. And we're definitely gonna talk about selective outrage too, uh, in the, later in the episode as well. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I probably would disappoint uh, the missus when I say this. Um, he 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 would have he, he would have to be slid on. I I don't give a crap. If it was national te- uh, international television. In, any man that were to physically come and <laughs> and assault me, uh, to me I think you know at, you know just just me. My father taught me as a man. Look, if some if some dude decides to be physical with you. You may not you don't start it, but you finish it. And that would be me. And I know that probably disappoint my, my my wife when I say that, but yeah, he would have caught these hands too. And I'm not I'm not saying it to brag. I just don't want anybody to hit me. Oh no. no. <laughs> I, I understand. No, it's, <laughs> that's if like, someone thinks it, yeah. <laughs> listen, if you can think you can think it all you want, but the moment you put your hands on me, it's a completely different story. Got to be, yes. It's a different story. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a non-violent person, right? But the moment you put your hands on me, you got to have hands. That non-violence on you. is out the window. Yeah, you got to have hands put on you because that's what I was taught. You got to have hands put. I got to defend myself. Yeah, you so, know, and <laughs> you know. So it's funny. I had a question that said, "Would you would it press charges on Will if that same thing happened to you?" No, but you but you said you said similar to what I would do too. I wouldn't have either. Huh. Hey, Will would have had a he would have had a busted up lip. Oh, Will would have got it. Yeah, he might not got it that night, but <laughs> he would have got it. Leave me. I would let it go that night. That night I would let it go because people would respect the retaliation. Uh-huh. But the moment I see this dude and mm. he don't see me, is it Jamie Fox on him? <laughs> not Jamie Fox on LL and uh, yeah, that's any given Sunday's. Uh, that, that, that's how I was gonna go. That's how I was gonna go. As soon as I see him anywhere, is on on site. Mm. As soon as I see him, oh. we're just getting started. Mentality will return. Alicia, you can't hold somebody to that standard if you haven't voiced what you want and what you're needing from that. Mika, if you're not communicating expectations, you're waiting for your feelings to be hurt. Nicole, yeah. a lot of people don't want to take the time out to be alone and to get themselves together. Ivan, you got to be willing to work through stuff. And from the jump street, y'all done had problems. Maybe yeah. you don't need to be working through those. BS3 Network proudly presents Queen 3 and King Podcast. Live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central. What's on E. Dicka's mind? A and B. I'm going to see my way out of it. Because why? I don't care i have a message for people who do nothing but complain about black people we can't change who we are you call the cops on me i think that every time you call the cop on someone on a false accusation yo need to be a little bit punished BS3 Network proudly presents a man with a lot to say and it's unabashed to say it. What's on e Digger's mind? Sundays at 7.30 p.m. Central. Check your local listings for your viewing and listening pleasure. Back at it on Mentality, where iron sharpens iron in the realm of health, mental health, 
uh, wealth, stability, brotherhood, and love in accordance to men. With White Hefe, I am Cole Johnson, and we are, of course, talking about uh, Chris Rock, Will Smith, and Jada Pickett Smith, and we're going to park it right there. <sighs> so, probably the crux of all of why that slap happened in the first place happened to be the wife, if I'm not mistaken, I think the 26, close to 27 year old marriage, I mean, wife of the now 51 year old Jada Pinkett Smith. She possibly fanned the flames to having old Will be trigger finger happy. And why would this be? Well, let's go back about three years, shall we? So she has a show that's called The Red Table Talk. Now, you may have heard this show. You heard it mentioned on this episode already. And she invited her husband on the show. Husband's on one side of the red table. She was on the other side. And in the sit down, she coughed it up and said that she and R&B singer, Al <laughs> God, it's so messed up, August Alcina, had what was called, uh, quote, an entanglement, close quote. Now, I've heard it defended. You know, they were on a break. Uh, they have an open marriage. So all this was fair game. All this was supported. And, <laughs> I mean, and it got to the point where Will actually said he was done with it. And and I would not blame him for being done with her. Seriously. All right. So <laughs> with this wonderful word of entanglement. Why would anybody want to publicly air such a private matter? I I, I, I don't help know. Help me out. Help no me out on this. No one. clue why. And then I think that is that it wasn't live, was it? No, it wasn't live. I, I, it was recorded. I have a guest right now. He's supposed to be taking a nap. And... Okay. <laughs> oh, he could take a nap. But that's cool, though. That's cool, though. Anyway, so price. why would you even bring up any of that on the red table <laughs> in front of a, a national audience <laughs> where everyone can see and everyone can find out that your wife is sleeping with one of her child's friends. Not even someone her own age. Someone probably half her age. All right. Now, to be fair, Jaden, the, the son of Will and Jada Pickett-Smith, uh, Jaden uh, is, he is adult-aged. Yes. He is adult aged, but at the time, I can't believe I'm about to say this age. At the time, Jada was 48. And if I'm mistaken, I think Alcina was 27 when it when this all took place. And I think Jaden was then, I think, 24, 25, somewhere around then. Somewhere around that age. I'm saying to myself, what? No. All right. So do you think it was okay for Jada to even have slept with a friend of her son's, even if she had permission from Will to do it? No. Thank you. No. Because that is one of your children. Your... Okay. Go out and find another person that hasn't been to your house that knows your husband. Like, go cheat like a regular normal person. <laughs> Seriously, you had to go cheat. I'm not go cheat like a normal person. <laughs> how, how do you, I, I? I don't. It's like I, I. I don't understand. Like this is the kind of, and they. I don't. They probably have a, supposedly. They yeah. Have a relationship. I I agree. I think it's a supposed thing too. But okay. Yeah. So, but I still. Wouldn't want my wife to put our business out there. Thank you. It's our business. No one yes. needs to know who you banging. No one needs to know who I'm banging. 
Let's keep it in house. Why did you have to come bring it on the red table <laughs> so that everybody can know that this young buck was banging you? And then, and then, just be, and then it just come up with, yeah, it, it was an entanglement. I had an entanglement. We, we, had, we had an entanglement. We didn't have <laughs> you, you, you had all this, not me. I didn't what, sleep. I, I didn't sleep with August. Like, what I found appalling about the whole thing was she tried to make it so neat. Like, you know, I was going through some feelings. I was working some things out. Like, basically, going outside. Of, forget that if the arrangement was fine, fine. So, okay, we'll put that off the table. They had an arrangement. They could sleep with other people. To sleep with your son's friend, or in Will's case, to sleep with Willow's friend. It, guaranteed, if that got out in the public, it, people would say, okay, Will, you're, you're sick. You're an old man. Willow's barely an adult. She's not even like 23 now. But at the time, she was probably 19 or 20 when this, when this would happen. I was like, why are you tippy-toeing out wanting to rob the cradle? <laughs> no. No. It, it, and, and on top of it, you had this guy travel with your family. So they took trips with Willow and Jaden and Jada. And probably even Trey at times. The 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 oh the was, the, the oldest 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 from previous yeah was was on the first previous marriage right probably took trips with all of them and and and, and of course August and will know each other all of this took place yet people were okay yes people were co-signing this I'm like you know and, and people were and people were I was hearing people legitimately say well if that's a man he would be dapped up for it no he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be dapped up for finding a, a finding a friend of his daughter's, and he's sleeping with her. No, no, no. That's ridiculous, and it's sick. And how could that not cause drama with the whole family? But again, I what really I think made him snap. What what really really put him on the edge of 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 the breakdown or whatever the he had was the fact that she put it out there. Like he, oh, like, I know what that is. And, and you could tell it from his face, from the whole end, after she she laid out the entanglement, and I, 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 I kid you not, his face looked like he was ready to cry. Yeah. Like, yeah. he was like, yo, I can't believe you're doing this to me right now on the red table. Like, you have a Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I'm gonna kill you when we get home. That that kind of that yeah. kind of like yeah. look. Yeah, when that red lights off, you're done. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So how damaging do you believe this open marriage arrangement has been? Uh prior to the entanglement, I don't think there was any that it was the entanglement that damaged it all. She 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 fed it up. Like, <laughs> She couldn't. She couldn't keep her mouth shut, so she had to let everybody know who's hitting it. Yeah, like, check if, if we have an agreement. Don't tell nobody, because <laughs> Young Buck ain't tell nobody. Wait, wait. So, of course, it is. It is no secret that Jada Pinkett Smith held and pro probably still does hold a torch, a candle, heck, probably a tiki torch for Tupac, the late Tupac Shakur, the rapper and actor. Yes, uh, but together, yes, but I cannot, but I cannot have this go by and not have a lyric in uh, that Tupac said in uh, "I Get Around." It says, "Loose lips sink ships." If you were in Will's position, <laughs> and I know your wife wouldn't do this to you because I know my wife would not do this to me either, but let's just say that. Um, Let's just say that our wives had the spirit of Jada in them. If uh, you were to have all of this business put out in public, would you be done with your wife? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there's no coming back from this. There's, mm -hmm. listen, okay, if we had an agreement where, yeah, we, the fact that you broke the agreement, like, 
it's it's our business. Why are you telling people our business? That that's what gets me. If you had an arrangement, that's fine. But why are you telling people your other business? And then and then joke about it. Then make it like you know how society is. I understand. Mm-hmm. This dude yeah. is gonna get clowned on hard. And did for three years. I mean two years before the slap. Yes. Get got clowned on. People was joking. Like, oh man, well like it, it's just yeah, we ain't the man, or oh, I guess. Oh, so I guess Jada always has a thing for uh, for Tupac, even even in the grave. Yeah, it would have been. It, yeah, it would have been over. <laughs> it would have been over. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, and and I I love my wife, and I know you love yours, but uh, that that's that's something you can't come back from. No. And and if, and if I were in, and if I was Jada doing that to my wife, I wouldn't expect. To have a relationship or a marriage continue with that either, because to me that's unfair. That's unfair to the other. That's unfair to your 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 marriage partner if you're going to basically literally air your dirty laundry out in public. There is such a thing called discreet discretion. Uh, we've heard this. We're both wrestling fans, and we heard Jr. say this often. Discretion is a better part of valor. In yeah. this case, it applies here. I did not give a crap if I needed to hear uh, Jada <laughs> Jada's juice boss getting visited time and time again with August Alcina, and then he sings a song about it later, saying he had a religious experience having having a a vaginal connection with Jada. I did not need to hear that. Yet, thanks to Jada wanting to be free and wanting to just purge of herself, we had to be witness to that. And then, worst of all. She had to make Will smell her dirty panties. And 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 top it off, she she's affected three men. Mm-hmm. Four, because I, I would think I would think five, because Trey could be embarrassed also. Trey but, probably embarrassed, but I don't think he's as, as I don't think he's as adversely affected though. But you 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 you, you we I could imagine what you did mentally to August. Because mm-hmm. this this young boy was in love with you, and that probably still is doing him. That, ju- that juice box that as juice box had him going crazy. Yes, um, you drove your husband to 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 physically <laughs> assault Chris Rock in public on television, Na- on international international TV. television, internet. The slap is this was literally the slap heard around the world. Mm-hmm. Um. Your son, we could imagine what your son is thinking. Like, ma, I can't bring none of my friends around. You might fuck them all. <laughs> um, and, so, and, and what sucks is he it is reported that he has suffered from ulcers in the last five years. So, and and, and then Chris Rock, because he's the one who got assaulted because your man had a mental breakdown caused by you. Mentality will be back in two and two. Quans. Moment of Plus. clarity. I haven't watched BET in years. KP. Drake needs to come back with another the triple platinum album. E Digga. And then you have Ray J. Like, I can't Ray stand Ray. that river cricket. The Guru. Okay, the level of crack she's smoking, I don't want it. BS3 Network proudly presents the Knucklehead Chronicles podcast. Where from car tips to hot topics to meet beep of the week, anything goes live every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Central. Are you looking for something to do on your lunch break? Well, there's a show on the BS3 network that has only four words to say to you. We ready. We ready. We ready for y'all. We ready. We ready. We ready.
with AJ, powered by JM and E. Live weekdays at noon central. Welcome back to Mentality, where this is the show created for all men. With Wise LFA, I am Cole Johnson, and we talked about the first segment, Chris Rock, and, and how we probably would have thought he felt and we would have felt if we were to have been in Chris Rock's shoes in March of last year. We talked about uh, the, the person who fanned the flames that we think of all of this, which would be Jada Pinkett Smith, starting with her Red Table talk with Will Smith. And talking about the entanglement with August Alcina. Now let us focus on the man who performed the slap. Now, uh, Will, who was up for an Oscar at the time for Best Actor in King Richard. This was basically his night. And he was slated to win that award. So before he got that award, unfortunately, he tainted the whole night. But he still got the award. And still, ha- and still gave his acceptance speech, but afterwards, he resigned from the Academy, and they have banned him from the award show for the next, now, nine years. It was ten years of last year, so one year has one year has elapsed, so he has nine years remaining as of now. <sighs> okay. Climbing into Will's shoes. <sighs> All right. Do you think he should have been able to receive his Oscar for Best Actor, let alone give a speech for it? No. No. You tainted the whole program with that nonsense. You assaulted a man on TV. And I, I think at the time, everybody thought it was a joke. Everybody thought it was uh, yeah. uh, uh, part of the show. Mm-hmm. And when they figured out it wasn't, you, you should have, he, sh- he should have never received the, 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 the it should have been, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Smith can't receive this award at this moment. That's how it should have been. Yeah. Yeah. Something to the effect of either he, renounced, he renounced his right or uh, he unfortunately, uh, what's the word? Um, Forfeited his right to even be considered for the uh, for the nomination. Something, something should have happened. Yeah, but it, it, a ten year suspension. He still gets to make movies. Yeah, the, the Oscars ain't really to me. The Oscars is it's it's just politics within the industry. Um, yeah. certain movies get selected because they have their their connections or whatever, mm-hmm. and. It's just a it's a big popularity contest. It doesn't deem like necessarily that that was necessarily the best performance. That's just somebody's opinion. I'm sure there was other better there was better performances and mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but uh what sucks? So you had Quest Love who pulled an Oscar. You had um Danny Glover who finally received an Oscar and his career is like four five decades long Will Packer who is now uh, is now a mover and shaker in Hollywood he got a chance to direct the Oscars the very first black person man or woman to direct the Oscars in the then 94 year history of the program Wanda Sykes and uh, Amy Schumer, doggone it, I'm blanking on the third woman. Who, oh, and Regina Hall, who hosted it. We wouldn't even talk about them. It's all about that doggone slap and Will saying the words twice. Keep my wife's name out your MF and mouth. Yeah. If Will was one of your boys and he pulled that crap that he pulled last year, what would you be saying to him? Oh, you gotta cut that bitch off. 
<laughs> and that would have been set after the entanglement. It wouldn't have even about to say that would have been long before then, right? <laughs> it wouldn't even happen at the Oscars. It would happen way before the Oscars. It would have happened right after the entanglement. I would have been calling it after I seen the entanglement. I would have been calling this dude up like, "Yo, seriously, son? You let this do <laughs> that to you on TV? On <laughs> wait, whatever it was? You serious? You kidding me? How could you let this happen?" And then, so yeah, no, dude. Dude, I, I, dude, I, I, I pop popcorn. I pop popcorn. I sat in front of my, uh, I sat in front of my computer. I watched this, and I really wanted to put the, I really wanted to put my fist through the screen when your wife basically punched you out, and you looked like a disheveled man. It looked as if, it looked as if she just simply chopped your balls off, placed it on the table, and said. Like in Captain Phillips, now I'm the captain now. I mean, that's what it looked like to me. That's what I've been saying to Will. I'm like, she really did it. You said it early in the episode, and I agree with you. She emasculated you, dude. She 100% emasculated you. And how could you allow this? Because you've been married to her then 23 years. You've seen this crap coming. You all know about the fact that she has a thing for Tupac. Heck, you probably know that her daughter wrote a letter at six years old saying that I wish I wish mommy wasn't feeling so bad because I would want you to come back so that mommy and me won't be hurt anymore. After I sort of seen the episode on the red table, it would have been me calling him and me like, yo, my G, um, you need me to call you a divorce attorney. You need, me to, you, need, you need to go. We, we need to go out to Vegas. Or you want to go to Punta Cana? Let's go somewhere. <laughs> Let's go somewhere because this has to be this. The, we got to go somewhere. This, and, and when we get back, you need to divorce. So you need to have have your lawyer prepare some paperwork while we gone, and um and hand that <laughs> over because, dude. Because if you don't, you're just gonna be a <laughs> in everybody's eyes. And that is what, and that is how, and this is so messed up. So that thing happened in summer 2020. And, and that talk started happening then. So from then to the award show of last year, that was one year and eight and a half months. That talk started to happen then. And of course, it snowballed because everybody universally is calling them that. He sees the the Netflix special that Chris Rock uh, put forth. We'll talk about that in the next segment. And he called it distasteful. Now, what are your thoughts about Will calling what Chris Rock said in Selective Outrage distasteful? Could have been worse. Thank he you. really went in. He Thank really you. went. He didn't say anything about your kids. He just no. focused on you and Jada. And Jada. Mm-hmm. He didn't say he, he ain't focused on how uh, the craziness that goes on with your kids. And uh, he focused on you and Jada mm-hmm. and the entanglement. <laughs> and and the fact that you didn't smack anybody else but him. It's it's, it's listen, Will. You got b-ed out by your woman. You decided to b-ed out Chris Rock. Chris Rock spoke on it. He he, uh, he didn't say anything to me that was out of line. Because it all stems from the entanglement. Should he yeah. not called Jada so many times? Uh, I don't know. I've called her a few times on this show already, so. Later, we will have thoughts from the throne. This is mentality. There's a 100% chance of a laugh thunderstorm. Four men with different viewpoints take a movie, show, or documentary and review it uncensored, unfiltered, uncompromised, with no holds barred. Join BS3, Wilkes, King Dog, and H Rap B as they take on Hollywood their own way. BS3 Network proudly presents The Forecast, where HRAP always predicts, If I owe you something, I ain't got it. And if you need it, get it from God. 
live every Monday at 8.30 p.m. Central. Check your local listings for your viewing and listening pleasure. This is a BS3 Network presentation. Politics. They'll write the law, but they'll enforce it differently. Is that going to apply both ways? Religion. God never said that we can't reason together. Matter of fact, he said, let us sit and reason together. Relationship. I believe that everybody wants and needs somebody. From a man's perspective. They say, girls, if I put some polish on that and get him to some, buy some different clothes, girl, he could be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Joined a thought engineer. There's nothing wrong with me developing my piece and you developing your piece, but understand the goal is to come together. And comedian John Yogi. Negro, I don't need you putting on no chapstick up there in the pulpit. You do that over there in your chair. Get ready for. Live every Monday at 7 p.m. Central. Welcome back to Mentality, where we are the ultimate masculine safe space. With Wise Hell Hefe, I'm Cole Johnson, and we've talked about how Chris Rock must have felt this time last year. We talked about Jada. We talked about Will. And now it's time to talk about selective outrage. Now, for those who have been under a rock, this is the first ever, if I'm not mistaken, first ever Netflix live anything that has been put on the platform. And this was the comedy special. I don't know how many I've lost count that Chris Rock has done. Actually, he's done a few for uh for Netflix even. Yeah. Well, this uh, is the second one for Netflix. Yeah, yeah I think it is. Yeah. I think Tambourine yeah. was the first one, and then yeah. this mm-hmm. one in the second one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he decided to basically keep a, a, a radio silence approach for 11 months after the slap. And he got up on stage. Uh, earlier this March, and uh, he decided to put everything out there. And for an hour, or I should say for 50 minutes, you had that feeling, okay, he's going to talk about Will, he might talk about Jada, but he's going to talk about that slap. And that, that, that energy was there. And, you know, he talked about many things, and he set the table perfectly, he talked about how society has an addiction uh, an addiction to attention. Uh, talked about uh, the Kardashians. Talked about uh, Meghan Markle. And he talked about many other things too. And he hinted about selective outrage being uh, catered toward Will and Jada throughout the whole show. But then when he got to the last 10 minutes of the show, it was all about Will and Jada. And so we mentioned one of the jokes he told, which basically was sort of like a, a a straight up honesty thing where he said, look, people ask me, did the slap hurt? Well, it still hurts. And of course it would still hurt. <laughs> I, still, I still hear summertime in my ear. Yeah, in my I still ear. Hear, yeah, I still hear summertime ringing in my ears. I'm like, man, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, but even though a lot of things was funny, you could definitely tell that Chris was absolutely outraged and angered still almost a year later that he, he has issues with what happened. Well, and he, he said it, he talked about, he talked about it in the thing. He's like, yo, I respect Will. He said, I, I had nothing yeah. but respect for Will. I, I had nothing but love for Will. Yeah. He said, he, he said he's loved Will. him all of his adult life. Yeah. And, 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 and pointed out to when, uh, Jazzy Jeff, the Fresh Prince, opened for Run DMC. I was like, "Oh wow, we're talking mid '80s." Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, that's 35 years, almost 40, where Will Smith has been in the lexicon of Chris Rock. So of course, imagine his surprise that now Public Enemy number one, and for the last year it has been for him, is Will Smith, someone he does, and probably and, and well, probably still does now. Definitely did then. Held in high esteem and high regard. 
Well, if, if, I do got to give him the, the the thing that he benefited from was after the slap, every show he come, every show he put on was sold out. Yeah. So he he, he did get slapped, but he reaped kind of some of, some of the rewards for the slap. Mm-hmm. And I'm not complaining about it. In fact, I applaud him. I'm glad. I'm glad that he it can make money off of it. Yeah. I have I have no issue whatsoever. I agree. None. I, I I don't. In fact, I hope he makes more money off of it. The more money he makes, the better because I want him. I want him to have such a such a such a great um uh, such a great redeeming moment where it's like you know you've proven that you were professional in that situation you're getting rewarded for it and i want him to be awarded more and more for it of course so yeah so what parts of selective average did you find funny i enjoyed most all of it i enjoyed most i enjoyed the part with uh when when he actually got his daughter expelled from school <laughs> that was that, hilarious. That, that one was funny. He says nobody knows until now. Now, <laughs> until now. So I thought that was funny. Um, all oh, the the Kardashians. One yeah, of my favorite topics. <laughs> when I saw that, I immediately thought of you. I'm like, oh, I know in the future we'll have to talk about this because yes, one of my favorite topics of how um. The Kardashians <laughs> have ruined black men all over the world. I was like, "Cause wives get wives will get a chance to go in again by the Kardashians." Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. My, my favorite family. <laughs> and, and, and and people might look at it as as hate or no, because go ahead, go get your money. But how many black men have they crushed under their boots? <laughs> For the only exception of Courtney, I, I've lost count because I think that's the only. I think that's the only Kardashian. That I, I, I think remember. most of them have been Kim. Most of them have been Kim. Yeah, well, Kim. Courtney. Courtney Kim was married and, to. What, yeah. Chloe, who, who's married? Who's married to Lamar? Chloe, right? Chloe. I was like Kim and yeah, Chloe. Kim sure. and Chloe. Yeah, those two have crushed men under their toes, under their feet, under their boots. Because <laughs> Kim has got a list of dudes. She's She's just decimated. <laughs> um, Not a list and, of dudes. And and yeah, like, oh, I know Lamar had his issues, but they made him into a full blown crackhead. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that uh, that is unfortunate. Uh, I, I find it funny. I find the 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 show funny too. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um. Yeah, what <laughs> when he said that you know I found myself I was rooting for I was rooting for Will my whole my whole adult life, but now I watch the emancipation, so he <laughs> gets <laughs> whooped. <laughs> he only watched this as somebody who whooped to see because he can see Will Smith getting his <laughs> up. Yes, I thought that was funny. <laughs> I thought like, that was, like, yeah. I was like, I, I I live vicariously through you in that. And I was like, go ahead, Chris. Talk your and talk I haven't seen that movie. Man. I have not. This is it'd, it'd, it'd be a it'd be amazing. That quite a few movies that I haven't seen. I haven't seen Emancipation. I still haven't seen Wakanda Forever. Um, I don't really care to see it. But mm-hmm. anyway, besides that, um, yeah. So it, it to me, selective outrage was funny. A lot of yeah. people found it offensive. A Same. lot again I heard again. A lot of people say he shouldn't have called Jada a b- so many times. Okay. Okay, what let's, else should he be called? Though? Right. Let, like, okay. Seriously, what, what else should he be called? Yeah. Like, let's let's yeah let's let's, let's, let's be honest, man. She 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 did some. <laughs> so when you do, <laughs> you get called a. <laughs> point blank. I wasn't trying to call her out like just to say she's a. <laughs> no, she did some. <laughs> like you take okay. your man and bring him to the red table and crush his balls. That is some. So All right. you get called the bitch. All right, I'm, I'll definitely give you an alley oop lob here. All right, so yes, throughout the <laughs> so th- so throughout the last ten minutes, uh, Chris took some real hard shots at at Jada, uh, saying that saying that word and basically saying that uh, he hurt Will far more than Will hurt Chris. 
Now, considering you had that event happen, and then considering the last time he hosted the Oscars, which was when Will was supposed to be up for concussion, but the Oscars didn't even vote him in for it. And oh, the one she was trying to convince Chris to, to boycott? Yeah, the one she tried to convince uh, Chris to boycott, and they and she wanted to have the hashtag Oscar so white infiltrate throughout media, but Chris Rock said, "Look, I gotta get this check," and and did his stuff anyway. He alluded then to there was some problem starting then with him and Jada. Now, do you think that Chris Rock? was well within his right to basically call Jada out of her name as often as he, as often as he did. Yes. Because when you do some <laughs> use a <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. He should, yes, what, without a doubt. I told no, you I don't, don't, there's, no, there's no doubt in my mind he he used the right word. Like he could have used some real harsh words if he wanted to, man. Mm -hmm. And, and was the was the worst of it. He could have really said some real harsh words about her. He could have. Uh, he did. He kept. He kept it with. So I mm -hmm. I, I, I I I applaud him for that because mm -hmm. I don't know if I would have been so kind. He. I mean, he he could have gone. He could have gone harder in the paint. Especially when he mentioned the entanglement in his in his show, yes. and he says this is something I don't even I don't even address or talk about. But when you actually put the stuff out there for the public to consume, how could he not? And I agree with him. I'm like, you gonna put this crap out there? You put it out there. Like, you, why you why why will mad at me? You don't want to yeah. put it out. Like I, yeah. I would have been like, why will mad at me? I didn't. I didn't yeah. tell the world I was screwing some twenty year old. Yeah, if you're gonna put that out there, well, you deserve. To catch whatever is going to come back at you. So you did some <laughs> whole <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> you did. And now, thoughts from the throne. Each man gets two minutes to say what's on his mind, dispense whatever wisdom he has in his heart. And since we're kings, we cede the floor to one another. So, my king, the floor is now yours. Uh, so I'm going to actually veer off from Selective Outrage. We've spoken enough on Jada and Will and Chris. And I want to touch on a different subject. Okay, so everyone knows I'm Puerto Rican. And my wife is Dominican. And this past week in the World Baseball Classic, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic faced off. And there was chirping going on on both sides. Uh, you had Dominicans like David Ortiz, Big Poppy, talking nothing but smack, talking about they want Puerto Rico. They can't wait to face Puerto Rico. Well, be careful what you ask for. Because what did Puerto Rico go and do? They went and handed them a big, fat, I am proud to be Puerto Rican. My boys, even though we did lose Edwin Diaz on the freak accident, it was feel good. It felt good to to hand our Dominican brothers that L because they have a lineup stacked with MLB players. And my boys, there's come there's a few on there like Lindor, Baez, Vasquez. There's a few pro players on, but they, they're not as deep as the, the Dominican Republic. 
and I have nothing. But, like I said, my wife is Dominican. I love my Dominican people, but y'all suffered a big L. So let's go Puerto Rico. Let's take the championship all the way. Oh man, I I know I can't top that. <laughs> I should have known you were talk about that too, man. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, I, I've, I've actually become a, a person who has been receiving a lot of blessings as of late, and and although people can see some of the fruits of the now, they may not understand what hard work it took to get there. So for those of you that are in the gr- in the trenches, in the grind, going through it, I'm, I guarantee you when I say this to you, the grind is worth it, but have a purpose to get to the next level and the next step because you're going to value all of the lessons you learned when you did grind hard to get to whatever end game you have. And the step that I have uh, uh, achieved both in my work and in my uh, entrepreneurial life. This is just another step. It's not the last or the greatest, but man, does it feel good to be recognized and respected for the talents that I've had and I've grinded so hard to get here. So for those who have a dream, stick to it, still reach for the sky, still shoot for the moon, and still enjoy all those lessons you learn along the way because you're going to get better if you keep at it and understand that when you work with people, deal with them as people. Don't deal with them as commodities because people can see that. But if you deal with them as people, you'll be able to go longer and further than you could have ever imagined. And those are thoughts from the throne. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, wherever you pick this up, either on the Comey Media Incorporated channel, uh, YouTube channel, the Real Wise TV YouTube channel, or any other YouTube channel you see this on. And if you view this on TV, yes, Mentality is on TV. Yes, you can it see is. it 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central, every Thursday afternoon on the BS3 Network via Roku TV. So if you don't catch us on uh, YouTube, you can definitely catch us on the BS3 Network. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ivan. And thank you, the family of the BS3 Network. We totally appreciate you. And that will do it for this edition, this special edition of Mentality. For Why Is That Hefe? I'm Cole Johnson, here to say the following as we always do in parting. Our secret technique is that we always speak with mentality. See you next week. Peace. That's 100.